What's up, guys? Chris over here at the I-80 Boys, bringing you another week three betting prediction video here. Um, how did I do last week? I won a couple units. It wasn't the best week betting for me personally, but uh, the week before, I had won 13 units, smashed it week one. Uh, week zero, I think I won three. So for the year, I'm like up 17 total units, which is pretty damn good in my book. Um, so it does look like I know what the hell I'm talking about. With that being said, though, Big game this weekend in the SEC. We got AM taking on Florida. Florida at home at the Swamp. Actually getting points here. Four and a half currently on the books. The over-under set to 46 and a half. So I'm going to talk about AM here off the rip a little bit, guys. And I'll try to be quick with this, but I got a lot to say about both these teams. AM. Uh, you know, everybody knows they played Notre Dame week one. Um, we saw what happened in Notre Dame against Northern Illinois last week. Um, kind of lowers my expectations at AM. Now, I wasn't very high on AM to start the season. I cannot and still will never figure out why they were favored in that game against Notre Dame. I thought Notre Dame was the better team. I won quite a bit of money on that game. Regardless, though, that isn't the point. They, uh, they lost that game. I thought Connor Weigman looked like shit, personally. Um, you know, he went into that game looking about like what he did last year. I know he got hurt last year, but I've seen enough of Connor Weigman, man. He's got to be better, dude. And I, I feel like I say that all the time about some of these quarterbacks. And I'll talk about Graham Mertz in a minute, but he's got to be better, man. I, I, I mean, for the year, I got this wrote down um, on this notepad here because I do take notes and pay attention. Uh, he was 23 of 44 in the year for 225 yards, 52.7% uh, completion percentage, and two TDs to two interceptions on the year. I'm not impressed. I'm not saying he's got to throw for 300 yards a game here, but uh, those aren't great numbers, man. They're really not. And they played something called McNeese last week. And uh, by the way, uh, we don't celebrate FCS wins over here at the I-80 boys. So if you're one of those people and you're going to drop that down in the comments, um, find a new channel. Go go to Josh Pate. He'll pat you on your head. Uh, now, I'll move on from Connor Wagman. I feel like I harp on this guy all the time. I do like the running back, though. Uh, what's his name? Is it Le'Veon Moss? He's got 29 carries on the year, 154 yards, and three touchdowns. He looks like a good back. I'd pound the ball with this kid. I would. and I, I cer certainly would in this game against Florida and their defense. Uh, wide receivers. This is part of the problem, too. I know Wagman's catching a lot of shit here. Who's going to step up there? I know Cyrus Allen's their leading receiver. They got Noah Thomas on that roster as well. I think he's second. But they need some guys to create some separation. Um, regardless of what you say, I thought Notre Dame's defense was really good that first week and kind of shut down the passing game. But now we saw what Notre Dame kind of is. So you got to lower your expectation, like I said, for that AM passing game. Like, what the hell are they doing out there? Um, enough about the offense. I could harp on it all day. Defensively, though, I do think AM does have a decent defense. I actually think throughout the year, AM's defense will get better and better and better. They got a lot of talent over there. I don't need the name to names. You already know them. But, uh, you know, as far as the season stats here, and I know we only have a small sample size, they're giving up 317 yards per game, which isn't terrible. Um, passing, they're only allowing less than 130 yards a game, which is really good. That's like top 15 in the country. But that's against a Notre Dame passing offense where Ridley Leonard can't throw a ball from um, me to the goddamn wall over here. And here's the big thing, though. I do have a few questions about. They're giving up almost 200 yards per game on the ground, A&M is. Now, Regardless of what you say, I think that'll get better throughout the year. But uh, I do think, def you know, defensively, I do feel like AM has a decent defense. Now, flip side, over to Florida here. <clears throat> and uh, it, look, if, if you're a Florida fan, look, I don't need to hear it in the comments about, you know, I hate Florida, no, you know, no matter what. I've, I've made it very well known, and <laughs> I'm so sick of arguing with Florida people and the delusional fan base that they got over there. Now, it's not all of them. Some of them are um, realistic, and then I honestly wonder if some of these people need to be in a, a psych psychiatric ward. But, look, we're not celebrating the win against Sanford last week. We're not. I'm not doing it. So don't tell me in the comments DJ Lagway threw for, you know, a million yards and is going to win 13 Heismans. I don't want to hear it. Look, you, you did what you were supposed to do. You blew them out. That's awesome. You played Lagway. I know Mertz is hurt, and he should have, and he looked good. That's what he was supposed to do. Back to, what was it, week one when you guys played Miami? What the hell happened there? We were all over Miami in uh, the, the preview and prediction video over here, and in, in Florida fans just thought we were crazy. We thought, you know, trying to tell me uh, Cam Ward was better or worse, way worse than Graham Mertz. Come on now. Look what happened, dude. And, uh, you know, Florida, man, here's the thing, and I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Florida's more than a quarterback away from being relevant in the SEC, okay? 
let that sink in for a second. Their defense, suspect. Um, who, who's making plays out of the wide receiver? Where's the running backs? Offensive line has been a joke. It really has. And I'm not blaming all that on Graham Mertz. I've heard a lot of people this week telling me DJ Lagway needs to start in this game. They need to play him. If they play him, Florida's going to win this game outright. Yada, yada, yada. And I like Lagway. I do. And I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a Billy Napier fan. I don't think that dummy knows what the hell he's doing. I've been saying that for three freaking years now. This guy is way in over his head. Honestly, you'd be better off without him. But I'm not talking about him because he's not the one out on the field. DJ Lagway hopefully is playing this weekend because he gives you the best chance. He's got the higher ceiling of the two between Mertz and him. Put him out there and play for the future. Like I said, I think he does give you the best chance to win this game against AM. You are at home. He did look really good in the game against Sanford. He threw for, what, 400 and some yards in that game? I get all that. He's got a rocket arm. Let him develop. You know, have another thing, though, too, here in this game. How is Florida going to shut down the run game AM? They're going to have to step up. Miami ran all over them on some big plays. Um, the pass defense looks super sus. Now, the good thing for Florida is you're going against Connor Weigman, and, and he's looked like he's been struggling all year. So, with all that being said, okay, guys, I'm trying to shorten this up. I could dig into stats all day. Um, here's the thing how I'm betting this game. I'm taking the four and a half with Florida here. Billy Napier, one thing he has done, and, and you can look back at the, the history here, he's won a game he's not supposed to every single year he's been at Florida. Okay, I think this is year three for him, if I'm not mistaken. You know, he beat Tennessee last year at home. Tennessee was ranked. I think Tennessee was a decent team last year. I think the year before they knocked off Utah early in the year, Utah ended up winning the Pac-12, I believe, that year. Um, I think they get this game. I said this in my uh, uh, prediction, you know, season prediction video about um, Florida. We broke them down. I took Florida over a And M. I'm going to take the points at four and a half here. I am. I'm going to get on this early. I actually put this bet in. I think it was a couple days ago, and I've thought about it even more. And I'm even more confident in that pick that Florida can hang in this thing. Maybe they lose by a field goal, but I think it's going to be a defensive struggle. I honestly think that. Lagway, hopefully they play him in this game. I've heard both sides of that too, guys. And, and the Florida fan can let me know here, honestly, because they're around the program more than I am. I've heard both sides of it. Well, they're going to split time or they're going to play Mertz more than Lagway. A lot of fans are saying, hey, play Lagway. That gives us the best chance to win. I agree with that. For once, I agree with the Florida man. I agree. So, yeah, give me the four and a half of Florida here, guys. Uh, the over-under, I really don't have a lean either way on this. I do think it's going to be relatively low scoring. I think both teams have a has got that decent defense. Florida, if they step it up there and make them one-dimensional, they're going to be in this game the entire game. So it should be low scoring. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, please give this a like. If you agree, if you disagree, please don't give it a dislike. Let me know down in the comments who you're taking in this game. And with that being said, boys, we'll see you guys next time.